In the 17th century, the Northern Netherlands experienced enormous economic growth. During this golden age, the sciences and fine arts also flourished. Frans Hals, one of the great Dutch masters, worked and lived in Haarlem and mainly painted portraits of individuals and groups. His entire oeuvre only includes four family portraits. He would place his subjects in a landscape to create a less formal setting. This was a highly innovative approach at the time. Considering that the price was based on the number of persons depicted, no one but the newly rich could afford such a status symbol. Only for his earliest family portrait, which was painted around 1624, is it known who the sitters are. It shows the large family of cloth merchant Gijsbert van Kampen and his wife Maria. In the early 19th century, for the first time the painting ended up in the hands of someone who had no connection whatsoever to the portrayed family. For reasons unknown, the painting was cut into at least four parts. A drastic measure, but not uncommon in those days. The different fragments were passed down and sold as separate compositions for decades. All memory about the original three and a half meter wide family portrait had meanwhile been lost in the mists of time. The lost information gradually revealed itself, however, as art historians continued to build on each other's findings. It was discovered that the girl at the bottom left, the last born, was not added to the composition until 1628. Not by Frans Hals himself, but by another painter from Haarlem, Salomon de Bray. The physical resemblance between the subjects and the similarities in costumes on the two largest fragments is quite striking. In the 1960s and 1970s, conviction grew that the two parts actually belonged together. The paintings had almost the same height, the lines of sight and hand gestures now became meaningful, and the landscape also started making sense, even though the two parts did not fit seamlessly together. Two Franz Haas experts suggested two different reconstructions. According to Seymour Slife, the original family portrait consisted solely of the two large fragments. Klaus Grimm's opinion was that there was a fragment missing between the two paintings and that it continued on the right side. He added several figures, including the portrait of the boy. Thanks to the preliminary research and the restoration of the fragment from Brussels between 2013 and 2016, the puzzle pieces fell into place. X-rays confirmed the hypothesis that areas on the left had been painted over. A scan also revealed overpainting on the right side. Restoration work could now begin. The old varnish was removed, the overpainting was removed. On the left side, two fragments of skirts were exposed. The definitive proof that the paintings belonged together. On the right, parts of a girl appeared. A reconstruction of her face and hand show that the girl is turning while talking to someone positioned at an angle beside her. Her collar matches the collar fragment in the painting of the boy and the lacework patterns are identical. At the bottom, the edge of a skirt and the end of a sleeve with a lace cuff appeared. This points to the presence of even more family members. By reusing the existing image elements, it was possible to visualize what the lost fourth fragment might have looked like. All the pieces now seem to fall into place. It shows lively interaction between the family members. The father and the two youngest children seek the eye of the beholder. The group is positioned symmetrically along a curve. The boys to the far left and far right close off the composition beautifully by facing to the middle where the church is centrally positioned, a reference to the family's Catholic faith. Through exhaustive archival research, Peter Biesboer, former curator of the Franz Hals Museum, was able to uncover the family name, Van Kampen, and the existence of 14 children, six boys and eight girls. After being separated for centuries, the family has been reunited, more or less, like a snapshot recorded by the hand of Franz Haas.